Welcome to Paradise TV from St. Armand Circle in Sarasota. I'm Carly Wegner. And I'm Stephanie Summers. Thanks for joining us tonight. Sarasota is just a short drive north of the Fort Myers area and is on the Gulf Coast. It is a town that has both big city amenities as well as the small town feel. Whether you live, work, or just come up here to play, there is no shortage of things to do. Sarasota offers an abundance of outdoor activities both on the water and on land. The city is rich in history and influential residents like the Ringling Brothers make this city a perfect piece of paradise. We are just scratching the surface of what Sarasota has to offer. So let's stop talking and start doing. In tonight's show, we hit the road for a one tank trip to Sarasota. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, the circus is calling. And paradise answers the call. We visit a classic car museum for rides so smooth they can only be found here. Polo anyone? We turn over a divot or two at the Sarasota Polo Club. And a restaurant with pies that are legendary, truly. You cannot come to Sarasota without visiting the Ringling Circus Museum. It is the place to learn about everything from right under the big top to the three ring performances. It's a place where you can walk the wire, even squeeze into a clown car. If you haven't been, it's now your turn to jump on the bandwagon and come with me as I take you inside the big show. Here in the middle of one of the most beautiful properties in all of Sarasota, you will find one very fun and exciting museum. With costumes, tigers, and funny faces at almost every turn, who says a museum has to be a snooze fest? <laughs> it allows people to laugh and have a good time, be a little silly if you want to, but also learn about the rich tradition that we have in this country. Ah, yes, a place to learn about the greatest show on earth from its earliest days. What's wonderful about it and why I think the circus and its culture has made such an impact is the fact that it brought the wonders of the world to your hometown. You didn't have to go someplace. Menageries, the wonders of the animal world, and the greatest of human feats came to your town one day. It was right up there with Christmas and the 4th of July. From wagons to rails, not only did Ringling bring the circus to different cities across the country, he also brought many of the acts right here to Sarasota. And perhaps you might want to try your luck at walking the wire. How cool is that? A hands-on museum where your feet can get in on the action too. From walking the wire like the Walinda family to squeezing into a clown car like Lou Jacobs. And he would get in that car being about six foot one. All right, well, I'm a little shorter than that, so I think I can do uh, it. How we'll do people see. do? Let's yep, go ahead. Let's see. Feet first. Getting in isn't so bad. I don't know about getting out, though. The museum proves that the circus is not only worth celebrating, but it's still alive and well today. It really is a lot of fun, and now is the time to go because April 19th is World Circus Day, and you can actually get into the Circus Museum for free. I think it looks like a lot of fun and a great place to learn a lot mm -hmm. of things. Speaking of learning, let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. What legendary Hollywood actor began his career in the circus? Don't get carried away, folks. The answer is coming up later in the show. Now, the Circus Museum isn't the only thing on the Ringling property. In fact, there's all sorts of things sprouting up all over the place. That's right. In addition to the art and circus museums, you will find the most amazing gardens right here in Paradise. The Ringling Bayfront Gardens are a living, breathing treasure. The garden is ever growing with over a thousand rose bushes that include some 300 varieties of roses. It is a site that you definitely do not want to miss. This garden is a perfect marriage of man's design and nature's making. While you are visiting the Ringling Circus, be sure to take a walking tour through the garden. It's an experience that will leave you happy that you did. Uh, it's a delight to come in here. Um, there's, there's something for everybody inside this garden. With over 300 different varieties, it's an educational opportunity, so you can learn and explore every time you come in here. This is a perfect time to visit the gardens. We are told that the roses will be in full bloom mid-April. For more on these gardens or anything you see on Paradise TV, log on to our website. 
fox4now.com slash paradise. We are sticking with the circus theme as we raise our glasses to one of Sarasota's newest breweries, Big Top Brewing. Oh yeah, and when it comes to craft beer, these guys are not climbing around. Take a look at tonight's Paradise Untapped. Welcome to the Big Top, where things are always hopping. This isn't your typical three-ring circus, though. Here on a 30-barrel system, they are crafting brews that pay homage to the history of Sarasota. Circus City IPA, Trapeze Monk, and Suncoast Pale Ale are the staples, but you can always find something new on tap in the tasting room. There is no ringmaster at Big Top Brewing, but you are always invited to step right up for the most amazing craft beers around. Our big the biggest thing here is to actually make beer that people can truly enjoy and love. That's a, it's a, for us, it's, I would say, more of a passion than a business. We love this. We love coming up with these new recipes. You make a beer from nothing, and it's, it's awesome, and everybody enjoys it. And you get people that come in here, and they drink it, and they say, oh, it's the best Saison I've ever had, or oh, I love this IPA. It's the best, this and that. It's the reaction out of people, and the passion for it is what we truly love and enjoy about it. If you can't make it to Sarasota, that's OK, because the circus is coming to town. Big Top Brewing is now delivering to Fort Myers and Naples. This place looks seriously cool. We mm -hmm. need to go check it out after the show. Yeah, but we still have a lot of show left. Maybe they'll put it on ice for us. Coming up, we take a fork to one of the best pies on the planet, and it's found right here in Paradise. And later, art that captures personality like none other. Up next, we check in on a polo match found in our own backyard. But first, tonight's Pictures in Paradise, brought to you by the Seminole Casino Immokalee. This week's Paradise Untapped is brought to you by Paradise Furnishings. 